Hi, this is Art Zeman. I've been building a BD-4 airplane and have lots of pictures of that on my blog. Today, I'm going to show you how to lace wires together as part of a wiring harness. And the things I've been doing before with still pictures worked real well, but this will be much easier if you can actually see it in motion. So I have here a piece of my wiring harness. You can see that the wires are laced together keeps them neat and in bundles and a little bit more rigid, much easier to work with than if they're individual. Uh, when I started talking about how I was going to put this together, lots of people were telling me to use wire ties and complicated things and, um, and several people actually encouraged me to stay away from the lacing because it was hard to do, but it's actually very easy. So what I'm going to do is show you some close-ups of it and walk you through it and you'll go, oh, I can do that. So I have my wire and I have my lacing. I'm going to start with my initial knot and go over. I'm going to do this as a clove hitch. So I will go around in this direction, cross over the wire, and I'll come around a second time and go through that loop. Just like that. And then I will pull it tight. Very easy knot. And then I'm going to add a couple extra loops around here just to keep it tight. Go through there once. And go through here again two, three times. And pull on it. That's all there is to it. There we go. Now, I'm started. That's not going to slide or come loose. And so I'm going to Make sure my lace is flat, go an inch or so, and then loop under here, just like this, and put my lace through. That's all there is to it. Nice and easy. And Cinch it up, go a couple more inches and do it again. So, take my lace, go under the wire, just kind of hold it in place with my finger, come up around behind, and through the loop. That's all there is to it. Very, very quick. And pull on it inches up. Let's do it again. Take the lace under the wire. Use my finger to hold it in place and through the loop. And pull it tight. Now when you get down to your end of your string, you want an extra knot or two just to kind of hold it in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my lace up and away a bit and take this end of my lacing, run it through there. Nothing too fancy. And I'm just going to go around a couple of times. And pull it tight. And there we go. I've now laced several inches of this. And you'll find that it goes very, very quickly after you practice this some. Um